the blue raspberry cloud frappuccino at Starbucks. This was £4.54 and it's a creamy, dreamy frappuccino. A delicious blue raspberry candy flavour topped with whipped cream and pale blue crunchy sugar sparkles. But what does this taste like? I must say that the £4.54 is the large price. That's not the price for a small or a medium. I don't know what that price is. And when it says it's blue cloud, it really does look like a cloud in a blue sky. It looks fantastic. I hope that wind's not interfering too much with the sound. So like I said, this is blue raspberry flavour with cream and blue crunchy bits. And to be honest, what does it taste like? It tastes a bit like a blue raspberry slush puppy with cream in a milkshake. It's very nice, it makes a nice change. And the other thing as well is, it's not overly sweet. And it's also not overly sickly. Sometimes with these creamy frappuccinos that are just giant milkshakes, let's be honest, unless you have one with coffee in it, it is just a great big milkshake. But sometimes they can be a little bit sickly and I'd never have a large. I'm glad I went large with this because it's very tasty. It's one of the best frappes I've had from Starbucks, Costa, any of your coffee chains, or even an independent. But I do wonder, I do wonder, I've said this before, a frappuccino is a cold coffee. This has no coffee in it. A lot of the frappuccinos, are they wrongly named or not? It should just say it's a milkshake or it's a creamy iced drink. I can't stop drinking it. This is very pleasant. It's not too sickly. It's too expensive for what it is. However, if you like the range of frappuccinos in your favorite coffee chain, be it Starbucks or Costa or any of the others, go down there and buy one soon. For more videos where we walk around aimlessly on Easter Sunday because there's no one in the car park and everyone turns up in the car park at the time we're filming, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's people everywhere now. There was no one here 10 minutes ago.